because it made it smoke like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Close that damn window. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no, nah, sweetheart. Oh, hell no. Nah. ain't doing that now. Oh, you got the camera roll? What? Right. <laughs> Great way to start the video. Typical morning at Countryside Lawn. Billy's talking about waking up this morning at the window open and about a few miles away from our house is a landfill. Billy was getting him a whiff. I'll tell you what, old son. Let me tell you, old son. It's not like you're standing in a horse home. I'll tell you what, old son. I freaking that window was open this morning. I'm laying there in bed and all I heard was this bird was singing a freaking tune. I swear he thought he was at Woodstock. Sesame Street, big bird. Oh yeah. Bro, bro, bro. I'm in my fucking bedroom window with my 45. I'm like, where is he? I'm like, let this little make one more, make another noise, I swear to He was not stopping. And then I turned around sat back down in bed as soon as I laid down in bed beep, 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 beep. I'm like mother I find him up I'm up I was like something's gonna die this morning you guys are gonna hear pop 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 yeah. like, what, what happened, happened? Pop, pop, oh, pop, pop, it burns pop, outside pop. the old man's window again I'll tell you what Dad used to I said the bird 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 the bird is a word last summer he used to tell me all the time, he goes, yeah, I leave my window open, you know, I love hearing the birds chirp in the morning, they sing a little song for me. Next thing you hear, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Listen, the last year there was this bird out there, and it was like just nice and gentle, soft, and a couple of chirps and stuff, a couple of chirps. I recorded it. I think I put it on Facebook or something like that, a little video. This ain't the same bird. This bird, he's, he's messed up. He's messed up. This bird's shooting meth or something. I'll tell you what, this thing's cracked the hell out, or he's blowing rails of coke like there's no freaking tomorrow because he's on a mission and he just doesn't shut the hell up. As a matter of fact, yeah, now I lived with that for years. I don't, don't want to live with it again. Well, just like anywhere else, this is springtime mowing and uh, it gets nasty. Look at this mower. Look at it. Nasty. Am I blocking it? Bag, deck. Billy's mower's the same way. I left some brown marks in some area, so did he, but we didn't tear anything up. So uh, it is what it is. I mean, we're here at the one set of apartments, and we had two and a half inches of rain in three days. And, uh, and we had rain for three more days after that, but not as much. But it's been bad, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Pretty wet in there. Yeah. Your stripes are popping. They're looking good, old Billy. So I mowed up to about here, and I was like, well, can't mow that. Yeah, and Ty's I'm just got to wee whack around the house real quick. and. So I went up there. He's, he's hitting that playground. Yeah, and he's going around the house, um, I told him. So when I went up, and I was like, all right, let's try it here. So I tried right there. Got to a couple paths right there. Got muddy there. And then you can see I killed it right there. Went off. 
Yeah, that creek is higher than it's ever been. Got to about right up there. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, can't go in there. So and I just did the top half, and then I got to there, and I came down to the south over there. All right, were you able to mow the back at all? Uh, I got like seven or eight passes back. All right, I see you made one pass through here and started to sink in a little. Yeah. And then I got that upper in there, and then I got another pass right there. And this is redonkulous, Billy. These yards are soft. All right, well, we might as well yank our plow markers out of here. We don't need those to be in here anymore. Yeah, there's one on the ground over there. All right, we'll yank these out of here and then back across the street. Ty's got all the apartments over there all blown off and everything else, so it's good to go. All right. And I mowed almost the whole of that one side that we weren't sure if it was going to be wet. I mowed almost the whole thing. So, all right. but it's what it is. Finish up this. There's two. The two over by. Healy's. Yeah, and then we got to go hit. What's her name? I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna be swamp. We'll walk. We'll see what the deal is. But we definitely, definitely, definitely. She's probably gonna come outside. She's. she's and she's I'm gonna like tell her and be like. Here for the apartments. Yeah. So and we don't want to lose the apartments. We don't want that. Yeah. Redneck Jimmy Rig, freaking zip tie electrical tape guy to come by. <laughs> holding his, his truck's probably held together by super glue and some red and tacky. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's talking about the guy that underbid me for plowing on the apartments this year. And uh, by over $10,000, he underbid me. And then he never showed up every time it snowed uh, without them calling him multiple times. And then when he did, he caused damage. So. I don't even think the guy mows grass. I don't know. He clearly doesn't plow either. <laughs> no, we but, you know what we should? We should go get him. Let's go get him a pair of Crocs on those little plows that go on the front of the Crocs. <laughs> He'd probably do a better job. <laughs> Idiot. He won't, he won't hit sheds or hit cars. <laughs> well, common sense isn't so common anymore, hey, Billy. I may have gotten stuck a few times, but I ain't never hit nothing yet. No, these trees are, look at these trees. These trees are dead. I All of them. They're all widow makers, man. You hear me mowing past one's gonna come down. You know what they look like? All the trees from the movie The Lorax. When they started cutting down all the trees and then the You refer everything to the movie The Lorax. You must really like that movie. That's that's the only thing I've ever said that really. What to about the Lorax. that one person? Who are we talking about? You said somebody looked like the person from the Lorax. Oh my old principal, he looks like Mr. O'Hare. He's about <laughs> as tall as he is wide. <laughs> Roly poly. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know. That's an old one. Yeah. Back when I was a youngster, you know? A little knee high to a grasshopper. You still are knee high to a grasshopper, <laughs> Billy. I'm bigger. You're bigger. Well, you are putting on size. Sure, Jesus wore sandals. You're putting on some size there, Billy, but. <clears throat> I'll get there one day. You will. You one will. Day. Baby steps. All right. Well, Ty's probably coming around the mountain, buddy. Right Ty will be coming around the house when he comes. I'm not at the steps yet. I'm crawling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the baby crawl. You'll catch up to me, Billy. And then blow past me. Once I'm dead and gone. <laughs> Once I bought the farm, then you'll be bigger than me. But until that day. You're going to hit that old age, right? You're going to be able to start going to the gym. Ah, I think you're already there. Look at that hair. <laughs> I, I never had gray hair before you came along, Billy. Actually, I never had gray hair until you turned 16. Right about then is when it all started happening. Nope. Only you can go through three sets of tires on a truck in one year and two complete accidents in a truck in 11 months. Listen, first accident wasn't my fault. Yeah, they never are. That was, that's why I don't drive a Dodge. He was 47 years old and got towed away. I jumped my truck at 17. Driving past ten, and I drove home. Hey, I know all about I know all about claiming accidents that aren't your fault. I mean, I got you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, we need to get back to work. Okay, I just cut this one here, all that, and that over there. With this, with this V Ride One, you guys know I got over the winter. Um, I like it, and I don't like it. Um, I don't like it because I'm used to the X mark and these controls are super stiff Like they're hard and even though on the X mark the left handle flips in like this it stays in this one 
the spring is super tight so like you gotta like really hold in and down at the same time whereas the x mark you just kind of leave your hand on it and it doesn't flip back out that easy this one tries to flip out all the time which makes it really cumbersome um but it cuts beautiful and it did a really good job so definitely a great mower to have um not going to be a primary mower not for me anyway i'd rather stick with my x mark but uh yeah did a good job this is the first lawn i've cut with it uh billy and tyler are down there they went to mow that one i think billy was mowing that one with the x mark and tyler we'd whacked it and blew everything off and billy edge of the driveway yeah he's wrapping that up so we would be done but we got one to go do the one of the owners of the apartments we mow her lawn we hate 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 mowing her lawn it's such a pain there's so many flower beds there's a mini pup puck golf course in her yard with artificial grass i mean it's just a lot to weed whack a lot to worry about it'd be ideal to do it with the walker we just didn't have the walker last year on wednesdays when we do it um we went by it last wednesday and she had guys there doing landscaping in the beds and touching up the uh golf course so we couldn't mow it but i guess she called the property owner of the apartments while we were there mowing them and said can you please come today so we're gonna go cut it but i'm guessing her yard's gonna be flooded and i don't know i'm fearing it's gonna do more damage than anything and we don't have the walker today so we'll see what happens